With four distinct seasons each with its own beauty, Hobart is a year-round destination. December to February in summer are generally considered the best season to visit Hobart as the weather is warm, beaches are warm enough to swim. Three to four days is about the right amount of time to visit all the highlights of Hobart. Two days are to explore the city, waterfront precinct, brewery and winery, Salamanca Market, Botanic Garden, Mount Wellington, and museums. Day three or four are for day trips to Bruny Island, Port Arthur, and the Tasman Peninsula. I have details of the itinerary to visit Hobart in the description below. Heritage Horse Drawn Carriages operates horse tours of the Hobart waterfront and Battery Point. Tours are from $30 for adults and $5 for children. This is a great tour for families. If you don't have a car or can't walk much, you can take the Hop on Hop Off Bus Red Decker to explore Hobart's attractions and landmark. You can choose a 24-hour or 48-hour ticket. Wharf Precinct is a lovely waterfront area with shops, restaurants, and especially floating shops. You can purchase your day tour tickets here. You should definitely try one of the best Tasmanian ice creams at this floating creamery ice cream shop. It is a great leisure walk around Hobart City and seeing many gorgeous Georgian, Victorian, and Edwardian architecture and buildings. Mount Wellington is a must-see when you're in Hobart. It is the best place to have spectacular views overlooking Hobart and its surroundings. There is a great indoor viewing platform to take in the view. It is about 17 kilometers or 25 minutes easy drive from Hobart CBD. Salamanca Market is a street market in Salamanca Place, Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. It is one of Tasmania's most visited tourist attractions. The market is located in historic Salamanca Place and opens from 8.30 am to 3 pm every Saturday with over 300 stallholders. You can find here the biggest selection of Tasmania's locally made products, glass, timbers, clothes, jewelry, artworks, leather goods, food and drink, and local agriculture products. It is very crowded and it can be hard to find a parking spot. Hey, 
Cascade Brewery is a brewery established in 1824 in South Hobart and is the oldest continually operating brewery in Australia. There is a restaurant inside with beer tasting and beer produced right here. The garden is beautiful and relaxing. You can book a historic tour or brewery tour which includes a refreshing tasting paddle of four Cascade beers. The Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens is Australia's second oldest established in 1818. These gardens are home to the largest collection of mature conifers in the Southern Hemisphere. There's a Japanese garden, a cafe and a cute gift shop on site. It is a wonderful place to visit all year round. It is free to enter. The Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery is a great place for families to learn and have fun. It has excellent collections of old and new art, historical Tasmanian information, great indigenous culture, and history displays. This is free to enter. The Museum of Old and New Art Mona is the largest privately funded art museum in the Southern Hemisphere. Opened in 2011, Mona houses ancient, modern, and contemporary art from the David Walsh collection.
If time is available, you can do some interesting day trips to Port Arthur, Tarman Peninsula, or Bruny Island. Port Arthur Historic Site was a 19th century penal settlement and is now an open air museum. Ruins include the huge penitentiary and the remaining shell of the convict church. The site is a beautiful place with rich Australian history value and is an icon of Tasmania. The Tasman Peninsula in the southeast of Tasmania is about a 1.5-hour drive from Hobart. It is home to the famous World Heritage-listed Port Arthur Historic Site. You can comfortably visit just Port Arthur on a day trip from Hobart. If you have time, I would suggest staying two or three days exploring this beautiful peninsula. Highlights of the Tasman Peninsula are the Port Arthur Historic Site, Tasman Arch, Devil's Kitchen, Blowhole, Fossil Bay Lookout, Remarkable Cave, Tessellated Pavement, Tasmanian Devil Unzu, Port Arthur Lavender, and Tasmanian Chocolate Foundry. Bruni Island is just like a smaller version of Tasmania Island. Bruni is accessed only by ferry. Bruni Island consists of two land masses North Bruni and South Bruni that are joined by a long, narrow, sandy isthmus, often referred to as the neck with an amazing view. There are many activities here like white wallabies or penguin watching, trying the best Tasmanian oysters, local beer and cheese, and free honey tasting.
Tourist. Ja. I hope you find this video useful to plan your trip. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support. Have a safe and exciting journey.